Hi! Just to clarify, yes, I do get the prices wrong in this video, but I do clear it up towards the end. Enjoy! is some pickups right now as a child we all have as favorite toy as favorite line as favorite collection what was yours well mine growing up in the 80s yeah the 80s <laughs> oh, some great clothing I got love for you if you were born in the 80s the 80s yeah. Anyhow, so back in the 80s, there was a toy line, I don't know if you're aware of this, called The Real Ghostbusters. Mm. It was probably, if not, one of the best toy lines ever made. The series spanned right up into the 90s because there was the, uh, the Extreme Ghostbusters, which I don't feel had the... Uh, the the luster as what the 80s version did which kind of parodied the the TV series it kind of it was like mirrored from the TV series now I've took it upon me to start collecting Ghostbusters figures again yes I have in the past and I you've probably seen videos and I have done the uh, the re-releases but uh, my collection is well, should I say, lacking. So I needed to improve on this by buying more. So recently I have expanded my collection by picking some bits up. <laughs> yeah, how expensive it's becoming. So uh, one is a restoration project and two is an addition to an existing set, which is the Ghostbusters HQ to complete. Um, now missing one part. Well, I'll say one part, it comes in two. The doors. So anybody out there who owns a set of doors at a reasonable price, price, please send me a message below, whether you're in the US or wherever. I'm sure they'll be cheaper than what they're going on eBay. <laughs> the 3D printed ones, yeah, they're all right, but they, I don't know, they're lacking something as in they're not original. I want all original parts. Anyhow, so my collection started several weeks ago and a friend of mine, Jamie, uh, Jamie's uh, Toys and Collectibles, if you don't know him then I'll put a link below to his uh, respective page. Um, <laughs> not that we're having a competition or anything, but um, he's kind of spurred me on to amass more. Um, so, firstly, <clears throat> um, I acquired something that goes hand in hand with the Ghostbusters HQ. Now, this piece alone goes for, I wouldn't say it's a large princely sum, but it can go for quite some, you know, coin, dollar, pounds, whatever you want to call it. Yes, it's a containment unit, which obviously comes in two parts. Now, a lot of people sell these separately, which they were, but I was lucky enough to get them from the same seller and get a reduced um, postage. So, obviously, <laughs> the little ghost went in here. That's how she demonstrates. Anyhow, so a little ghost went in here. You locked him in. Hiya, like so. You put him on top of the containment unit, like so. Then you went, he drops into the containment unit, then you put it back, and the, you know, you, you, you know the line. Light is green, trap is clean. You know the score. So anyhow, that amassed me a total of 
12 pounds uh, so yes that was the first part now if you don't have all the set to the gospel state hq it just doesn't feel complete in my opinion now this is the first time owning this i do have the hq i now have the containment unit uh, the thing that i am missing is a set of doors so i will reiterate that please comment below if you have any <laughs> um <clears throat> so moving along i then proceeded to buy a bundle which consisted of h2 ghost and popper ghost now these came as a set i didn't have the top half and this didn't have the poppers which are currently on order the poppers so late arrival but here it is the popper ghost with the little finger popper ghost Ooh. and then we've got oh sugar uh, we've got the uh, orange one ah. yep so that's those and the popper there's the other one both in pretty good shape uh, this one came complete with <clears throat> the actual finger ghosts you put one in here they, they do fit and there you go all right try and fit it in properly they're a snug fit they're a snug fit you ready hey so i ended up buying a second one of these which come complete Ta -da. Uh, this was one of the water toy range where it was basically you filled it full of water and that one squirted out the nose and that one squirted out the eye um i don't know they just had a certain charm i mean these are 30 plus 30 odd plus years old and they're still in real good shape they're still playable where toys nowadays they are lacking a chemical which i've mentioned before which makes the plastic brittle these it's 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 well, they said these are actually these are like a polyurethane rubber, where they don't really degrade or break down like where the sponge or uh, what what do they call it um, silicon does. Uh, although I have noticed that my boglins are well well on thirty five years old, and they're still in really good shape. They haven't broken down. They haven't started cracking, uh, blistering, or anything. So it makes me wonder what. Uh, went into these is it toxic Ooh, nice corona so <clears throat> these are the sets which have uh, recently acquired to go along with the ghost line because i do hope one day to collect all the ghosts even though i me and jamie have been uh, frantically looking at the uh, green ghost which is known as slimer with the proton pack it's been going for like 80 plus pounds it's it's a pricely figure to own it was probably one of the last in the series to be fair uh we also i got brain blaster which i did have to repair and i carefully separated the actual piece because knowing that the glue over 30 years has since become brittle so i opened this up because it didn't hold inside there's a little pin i don't know if you can see it there we go so every couple of rotations and then it pops now that wasn't holding in so i carefully opened it up and inside i put a tiny little elastic band around the clip and the, luckily there's a two pins either side so i hooked it round which then obviously the elastic band will degrade but hopefully it will last the duration of my lifetime uh, but yeah, this was a piece, again, I never owned, I never owned H2 Ghost, I never owned Papa Ghost. A lot of the lines in the Ghostbusters, I, I never actually owned as a child. Bear, bear in mind, growing up in the UK, during a period where uh, my father was a, a, a coal miner, so during the pitch strike, which all the pits closed down, uh, money was very scarce, but I was fortunate enough to get uh, a, a, a mass of toys from the Ghostbusters range, but some of these, uh, I wouldn't say a lesser 
But um, I wasn't, I just wasn't fortunate enough to get some of these. But now, as a grown up, I'm just appreciating the actual ingenuity and design that went into them. You know, it, it, it amazes me. I mean, you ready? You ready? Oh, to be, oh God, to be a child again and relive my childhood, growing up in the 80s, playing with these, oh, takes me back, really does. So, also, this was the second wave of the Ghostbusters, uh, which was, I, I had a lot of them, I've got the, uh, the Tombstone Tackle, uh, male fraud, there was Granny, I call her Granny Ghoul, um, there was Dracula, there was the Mummy, there was uh, him, Quasimodo, which again I never owned, it was, it, they were more of a line that I never really, or, or I wouldn't say I was interested in because I wouldn't class them as a, well, the fright features weren't they, they weren't really, they weren't really a, a, a Ghostbuster thing, it was just something from the monster series um from the like the old universal movies that they kind of just thrown in there as a, as a as a cash grab i suppose uh, but kids being kids probably pick up on that on there was a toilet fierce and flush that was another one i have i owned that one as well as a child so there's quite a few that i did own um uh he was a bargain at three pounds fifty mm. uh i forgot to mention i did get the other uh the the set uh, I did actually pay twelve pound for both of them, which I could consider pretty reasonable. Uh, he was. <clears throat> oh yes, I didn't mention that when I purchased that and that, it came with those four. So obviously it spurred me on to obviously get the other part, which was Brain Blaster. Um, he was, and then I had to purchase him on his own. He was ten pound. So as a whole set, I mean. About 12, 13 quid for that, which is pretty reasonable because it goes for about 20, 25, 30. It can do. <clears throat> so recently, today, uh, I, this came through the post, which is da -da 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 -da, all complete, but it has a loose flag um, due to having what looks like uh, a damaged. Can we focus? Can we focus? Anyhow, there's got a damaged clip. So I'm going to rectify that, but it's all complete. It's in really good shape. Uh, all the stickers are in fantastic condition. Well, I say all the stickers. The Ghostbusters ones on the flag. And then the Ecto-3 on the front. So that came with the Engine Ghost. I don't know. I can't remember what he was called. A little bit faded in colour, but doesn't matter. And he did have some slime on the inside oh and uh, might i say i've uh, managed to get some congealed what looks like slime or something out of the uh out of the ghost from uh, from in there 30 odd year old slime or something i'm guessing 30 odd year old slime i don't know uh, but i managed to clean him out and give him a good uh, Fettle, hmm, that wasn't very nice. So I managed to get that. That I got for thirteen fifty, which for Ecto three on eBay, uh, personally I think is a steal. Oh yeah, fully functional as well, and it comes with both the exhaust pipes, which usually there's some of these missing. So I managed to get that, uh, and also it came with this. Which comes with the Ecto goggles. I've got like um, foam spongy things at the side, and they're like like pink or yellow tinted lenses. Uh, you put a foam um, attachment. I don't have anything, but you put a foam uh, spongy plug in there, and uh, obviously it pops out. Um, but yeah, I and again it, a line. This is something I I never owned as a child. Which I wasn't fortunate enough. It has got a nice little the Ghostbusters emblem there. It's too I mean, it closely resembles the you know the neutron wand. Um it's alright, it's just sorry, it's a bath toy. Um what did I pay for that? 
Oh yeah, thirteen fifty, and I got that and that, and I got the I got XL three and the uh, the the, the um, popper. Didn't get didn't come with the goggles, so obviously that spurred me on to get the goggles now. Thanks, Jamie, for uh, sending me the link earlier. <laughs> So as you can see, these are the prices that I paid. Thirteen fifty for Ecto three, three ninety nine for the to kill them off, four pound twenty for Quasimodo, and I did pay twelve pound for the containment unit in combined minus postage. Uh, Brain Blaster nine ninety nine, H two Ghost seven pound for the whole one, not twelve. Uh, the bundle I paid four. Now <clears throat> this is the big restoration project. Um, Super Nerds has kind of. Spurred me on on this one, so I'll tag him below. Uh, lovely guy. Uh, check his channel out. In fact, I'll put his channel below as well. Uh, check his channel out. Lovely fella. Uh, from Liverpool. Uh, but he spurred me on to do the Ecto Challenge. Well, it's not so much a challenge, but it's just a restoration project. Project, or whatever you want to call it. Here we have, in really good shape, I have to say. It's got some slight yellowing on the top. Which I don't think I can probably see a bit of ceiling on that light. Um, but overall, really glossy, nice finish. It's in good condition. The door's in good condition. The sticker's in good condition. Uh, it is missing the sticker at the back, which to me it doesn't look like it's actually being put on during its lifetime. There's no residual sticker marks. The door, the good old fashioned claw for grabbing the orange ghost. And then there's this wonderful, wonderful, the exhaust flip, where you do that and you're ready. As a child, that was fun. As a grown up, not so much. It's really annoying. But yeah, the only parts missing off this are the doors and the seat, the gunner seat that went on top. Oh, and the, the obviously the orange ghost. Um, which I'm not too bothered about, but I have recently just put an order in and I've managed to obtain a second Ecto which is, <clears throat> might I say, it's either nicotine orange or it's sun faded, but it's orange, nevertheless. But the doors are immaculately white. Either it's been a partial restoration project that never got finished or they're just, I don't know, the plastic on the doors is different to what's on these. I don't. But yes, it comes with the gunner seat and the doors. I will be replacing the gunner seat and the doors from the second Ecto and thus selling off the second Ecto. Completing, apart from stickers, which I have to get the... Uh, yeah, it doesn't like they've been put on at all. Not at all. Uh, yeah, that will complete Ecto. You know what? I mean, <clears throat> you had the A-Team uh, van, you had uh, Knight Rider, you had such as... The Ghostbusters, 1986, 87, this come out. And look how, just look how detailed and how nice it looks. Such a well-made um, toy. I mean, my original Ecto, I was telling my daughter, Ellie, who's been on this channel several times, uh, not so much recently, that uh, as a child, me and a friend, Dale Raggett, we used to play at his grandfather's uh, farm and we used to launch my Ecto with the figures in off a bank, an embankment and we literally launched it off and it smashed into smithereens. So, RIP to uh, my Ecto many, many, many months ago. But yeah, um, oh and I did pick something up that's not even Ghostbusters related because I want to collect the series. I also want to get some Mad Balls which are madly overpriced, might I say. They're insanely overpriced. I was so close in winning one, I lost out at the last second, literally. <clears throat> but anyhow, Toxic Avenger, Dr. Kill em Off. Um, these were another, I don't know if it was Playmates, who uh, fabricated these. There wasn't m much of a range. Uh, the TV series, I think, lasted for two or three seasons, so there wasn't really a range of toys to back this up, but there was uh, toys nevertheless. Uh, there was like a motorcycle, a hovercraft, it basically it looked like recycled turtle parts, but this is such a sweet looking figure. Uh, I only paid 3.50 for him as well, £3.50 might I add. 
Um, the guy had listed it just as a loose figure, three pound fifty, postage to pay. I'm not going to turn that down. Uh, fully opposable. You know the arms move in many directions, apart from the wrist upturn, but. Pretty decent toy line, if you haven't got this toy line, or if you're considering collecting for it, then please do, uh, because the prices are only going to go up just like the Ghostbusters. I strongly suggest, if you're going to start buying Ghostbusters, or any 80s toy range, uh, A-Team, He-Man, Ghostbusters, anything, please look now, buy now, because the prices are only going to go up and up and up. Not to mention, Afterlife should be out this year, who knows. But... <clears throat> That kind of wraps up this video of what my furthering of my projects is going to be uh, regarding toy collecting. It is Ghostbusters and hopefully Madballs. But um, yeah, I mean, what were your to what were your favourite go-to toys back in the eighties? If you were brought up in the eighties, that is, or were you brought up in the nineties but brought up with eighties toys? I mean, I know a few people that do, and I mean, my children. I've adopted this mindset that <clears throat> uh, dad's toys are to play with, and they are. They're quite quite robust. Uh, they have stood the test of time, so there's no reason for them not to play with them. I I, I never stopped them. Um, but yeah, what what were your toy range? What was your go-to toy in the eighties slash nineties? Mine, like I said, Mad Balls, Ghostbusters. He-Man, I did have quite a few of those, which, uh, again, it's a line that I would like to further my collection, but unless they come down to a reasonable price, because I'm not paying silly money. I'm a Yorkshireman, and I'm quite tight. <clears throat> but what were your favourite? What were your favourite figure out of them all? Mine, <laughs> as weird as it sounds, as weird as it sounds, my two favourite, well, three, actually, my three favourite Ghostbuster toys of all time, not including Ecto-1, he is number one A star, was, and it wasn't the figures, it was Granny Ghoul, Fearsome Flush, and uh, oh, uh, Male Fraud. So, they're mine, what's yours? And like I said, what were your favourite toy range growing up? So, that is it from me, and that is what I am currently in the process of doing. I will be doing other videos, and I plan to do more plays and uh, gameplay videos so <clears throat> thank you for watching and if you've enjoyed this please comment like and subscribe and click the link in whichever side it is i totally forget and uh, thank you for watching i do appreciate new subscribers and return viewers thank you so much you know who you are but on that note don't forget links below like and subscribe you know where we are and as always love life and keep gaming.